The ability to target your ideal customer means that your ads can be incredibly relevant and eye-catching to social media users. So have a think about who you'll be targeting with your social media ads. Will they be new customers or loyal customers? Will they be local residents or tourists? What are their interests and hobbies? What kind of age are they? Once you've had a bit of a brainstorm, head into Ads Manager where you can get these set up. When selecting a campaign, you first of all need to give your campaign a name and check you've selected the right objective. In this case, the objective is a traffic campaign, so looking for more website visitors. Next, head to your ad set. This is where you choose your audience budget and where the ad will show. Give your audience a name and choose your conversion location, which is where you want to send traffic. Scroll a little bit further down and you'll find the audience section. And here you can start to define exactly who you want to see your ads based on their location, age, gender, language, and interests. You can enter your local town or city, and then you can choose a radius of how far and wide you want people to see the ads. You can drop a pin on a map if you want to be even more precise. Next, choose your detailed targeting, which is your interests, hobbies, behaviors. So you could start here by entering different words or different interests maybe hobbies, dietary requirements, or things like cocktail works well. Click the word suggestions and Facebook will start to make automatic suggestions about what kind of interests it thinks you should include. Keep an eye on the audience size over on the right hand side. You can see here that there is an audience definition and it indicates whether you're being too specific or too broad. And at the moment I'm in the middle because it's green. You can see an estimated audience size here of 40 to 47,000 people. You definitely wanna be in the tens of thousands, not in the millions. You can also see that there are some more broader interest categories that Facebook offers. And you can start to have a look through other interest and behavior items by clicking on browse. There are some very interesting targeting options available, including targeting people based on their family role, whether they are parents, their relationship status, maybe they're single, maybe they're married, their birthday, whether they have an upcoming birthday or if it's their month of birth whether they've just moved house, started a new job, or even if they've just got engaged. This would be perfect if you had event space or put on weddings at your venue. There are also some more advanced ways to find your ideal audience through Facebook and Instagram advertising. And these are called custom audiences. This is a way to connect with people who've already shown an interest in your business or your product. So you can target people who've already interacted with your website before, or even that have interacted with your Facebook or Instagram profile in the past year. So you can see it's separated here between your sources and Facebook sources. If you're going to use your own sources, you need to adhere to GDPR or privacy laws and have your customers permission. But if you use Facebook sources, then people have already signed the terms and conditions of Facebook and Instagram, so have already signed away their data. So you don't need prior permission to do this. If you would like to create a custom audience, then you can see there is an option when you come to creating your audience. It's called custom audiences and there is a drop down menu where you can create a new one. Here you can choose between your sources and meta sources. 
And so if you're using website data, remember you must have the Metapixel installed on your website already. If I select a Metasource Facebook page and choose my Facebook page from the list, I can actually target everyone who's engaged with the page in the last year, or even anyone who has just simply visited the Facebook page. This is a great way to target people who have already engaged with you on some level on Facebook, and you can do exactly the same on Instagram too. Just hit create audience and Facebook will whir away. This can take up to three days, but they will begin to build a very relevant audience. You'll also notice the ability to target what's called a lookalike audience. This is where you reach people who are similar to the audience that you've just created. That's automatically created by Facebook and can also be a great option if you're looking to build out fresh audiences and to really start to expand your reach. So to recap, there are quite a lot of targeting options available to you in Facebook Ads Manager. And these, of course, mean that you'll be able to target these people on both Facebook and Instagram. If you're using age, you must always target people over the age of 18. Gender, location, nationality are all pretty straightforward. Relationship status, so think about whether you want to target maybe people who are single, married, just got engaged. What about job titles or industries that people work in? Family role, maybe you are promoting your Father's Day or Mother's Day um, offers. Hobbies, favorite brands, so think about food, drink and fashion brands, and that relationship with your business. Do they already follow your Facebook page or your Instagram? <laughs> 